this thing then? I spit on it. God dang it, I'm too excited. I've got something I want to say. And I'm not sure how you guys are going to like this. I drove my Evo yesterday. For the first time since, like, I... Really, since I got the GTR. Oh, and man, it's so boring. I feel so bad. This was my do everything car. This was my daily, I'm gonna take to Ethan's for an hour long road trip. This is my daily, I'm gonna take to Ethan's for an hour long road trip. And now this, it's like, it doesn't have the character this car has. And obviously they're not comparable, but I don't know, that was something that was on my chest. <sighs> I needed to be transparent with you guys. It hurt my feelings, but I was like, eh, it is what it is. Y'all check this out though, look at this. This, this massive meat roll has been on my on my porch for a while, and I'm really stoked to get it out. This was imported from Japan, and it came like this. Japanese wood. Who's there? Oh, hello. So you guys know we've had a lot of fun converting the front end. And this is a piece that we've been missing. Look at that. <laughs> That's seriously huge. It's light. Oh. Okay, so my favorite hood in the world is the D-Max style. For some reason on the R chassis, like the GT chassis, like it looks so good. And um, we got it. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. That's going to look gorgeous on the car. I'll give you guys a little closer look here in a bit. We're, gonna go, we're actually going to go back to the car. We're going to test fit it. I'm going to give you guys an update. The car's been in Delir Designs for like about a month now and um, it's got some it's made some progress and uh, now the really the only thing he's been waiting on is a hood and uh, one more thing all right and don't worry it's not it's not Brambies we don't we don't got those yet that's that can come anytime the other key to getting this to work is styrofoam headlights I'll show you both when we're there, but right now I'm gonna keep this packaged. I mean, I'd like to keep some cover on this, but I gotta somehow figure out a way to get that thing into here. Oh shoot, what a dad move. I used my uh, Dad packing the kids for school technique, and it seemed to work. What does that even mean? I packed the kids in the Tahoe. What do you mean? The children are now in the Tahoe. We're back, we're back, we're back, and I'm so stoked to see my R33. <laughs> Yo! What's up, buddy? How are you? How are you? Oh, I've missed this sucker. Wow. Okay, so now, I mean, we're here. Tell me what all you've what you've done so far. You've obviously primed it and stuff, but yeah. basically the doors are pretty clean. They just okay. had old paint. Uh, whoever, I guess yeah, how so? Paint how much stuff. paint was on it? Like, uh, was I mean, it? It wasn't as much as I thought it would okay. be. Okay. So you were pretty good. Okay. Dude, this is all clean. This is the first time I've seen the roof like smoothish. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, it was you know, like, like roller, roller like, painted roller on painted there. On. Uh, that or I don't know what technique they really paint used. Brush, to do like, it. Yeah. It Man, it is bad. Yeah, basically we did uh, like one layer of the body filler here, kind of to try oh, get the shape so in. So nice. We're kind of, like, giving you an idea what the shape will be like. Dude, it doesn't even look like there's a. Yeah, that then, definitely looks way better than mine. Everything has been panel bonded, so nothing's gonna move at all whatsoever. Wow, dude, that looks awesome. So yeah, you can't even tell that you got the kit on. That looks amazing. And then I guess that's the sick. Body panels are back on. We're gonna go do it here. Is uh, match it with the door. So that okay, so you'll like do a filler to go out here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, kind of like fill all this in. Okay. Okay. So all the body lines back here will basically match. Okay. And so you can see that it was all panel bonded. See. Okay. And it's not gonna move like whatsoever. Cool. And then so you're gonna go through, fill that in, yes. and like. Like here now, I can use body filler. Man, I'm excited. Match that towards the back. And so right now you're working on the so the hood. That's obviously going. 
Yeah. Thank God. You're working on this right now. Yeah, so Nothing what? Nasty. Yeah, what did they do for this? You're, well, you're not supposed to use body filler to fill in holes like this. Yeah. Because you know, that's what causes the cracking and whatever. So all this Dude. is basically like body filler, and they had like tape in the back to hold it in. Yeah, okay. It's like. Yep. Yeah, this is basically everything that was on there. Some weird that's silver, nasty, white, man. and everything else. So. Wow, this car's gonna be an entire new beast. So, okay, so you have the sample color painted, right? Yes. All right, I kinda wanna see it. Should we show you guys, or should I make you guys wait to see the color? Ooh, that's not so good. I think I'll, uh, you guys wanna check it out? Let's put this baby in the sun for you. So, I'm not gonna get too much away. This might, you know, maybe this is the color, maybe not, but. I like it. Oh, it's hard to see how beautiful this color is with actual clear coat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It will shine. Concept. It may or may not be, this is a good sample color, so. I'll just see. You guys like it in this color? I don't care, because it's my choice anyways. That does look sick. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of see like, for like even this, this is technically like the right paint code, but like it doesn't have any clear on it. It's not, it's like, well it does, but it's like super orange peely. Like this is technically like even going to the lip and stuff, you can't see it, but like that's the right paint code. That's the same paint code as that, but like it's just was not done correctly at all. dishes in our in our house. So this was provided by Supa Garage. Big shout out to you guys and big thanks to Supa Garage. Supa Garage sponsors people just like you and helps people build their cars. So if you guys want to go check out Supa, I got a link for you guys in the description. Go check them out. So this is like the D-Max hood and it's got like these really cool sick vents I'm pretty sure Adam LZ might actually have one on his 32, like something similar to this, but this is a 3395 GTR hood. Along with that, we've got GTR headlights, which obviously need a little bit of love. The difference really is, aside from like having the black housing around the headlights, they actually just fit on the car differently. So, so you want to maybe put those on first since we have it out of the way. So now those headlights will actually fit with this bumper and that, and that hood will actually fit with the bumper as well and it'll all three line up. There we go. There we go. A little so snug. That's like a direct, yeah, it's pretty snug, but pretty much direct bolts on. So that actually fits this now. Fender, yes. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's so, so, okay. I'm already getting psyched, I'm already getting psyched. <laughs> it's kind of particular how it goes in there. There's like a little tab that has to go inside the headlight, yeah. There you go. And that's what was preventing the other headlight from working. All right, so I'm just hoping and praying that these like latches or whatever, they're the exact same. So gotta make sure of that. I'm gonna put it down one more time to show them like what it looks like with the, this hood. This headlight did actually make it fit better. Like it actually brought it in better. Oh shoot, okay, no, it does look like it's gonna fit pretty damn close. I am so ready. So ready, to, look at this thing, man. Ooh, I spit on it. God dang it, I'm too excited. Okay, so now we're gonna see how the bumper fits. Oh my God, there's no gap! It fits really nicely. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. And now, so you can see like the hood, uh, it leaves like an inch right here. So now the hood comes down just a little bit. Let's get that sucker on. <laughs> Well, let me show you guys. Uh, I kind of, when I, I did so much research on this and there's so many useless, everybody always says like check forums. Forums are dumb. Forums don't actually help you out. Forums help nobody, they just make people mad. It doesn't even come close to 
lining up. Like it's like inches apart. So I have GT, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get GTR latches. But I wanna lay it down and just see it on the car. I wanna see like, I definitely wanna make sure that it fits so we can like try and actually like latch it. Oh my God, that's gonna be insanely sexy. So because it's sitting on something, it's gonna pop this up a little bit, I guess, right now? Yeah. So we'll have to oh, man. Good. Yeah, well, I'll get on that today. I'll go ahead and buy some latches for it, but bro, oh, look at I how pretty that. that is. We're gonna have to put the front bumper on just to complete it. I do need that thumbnail, so. Damn, dude. And so I also didn't show you guys. Body kit's back here. This is the PS Deuce that we got from Japan. Uh, Jose is actually priming this, and he said you like to block it because it, he gets it gets some of the waviness out of the fiberglass, so it doesn't look like fiberglass. Jose is the real deal. Like honestly, man, you're the real deal. <laughs> you're the real deal. Push that up. There we go. Look at this color. This this color combo right there. Just think. Let's look at that. Look at that and envision that <laughs> for the rest of the car. Wow. All right, so it's on. It's officially set up. We've got it a little bolted in so I can get a nice thumbnail. You already know that's how it be. <laughs> but dude, this is gonna look insane. Dude, thank you, Supa, for hooking us up with this. You guys make sure you check out Supa Garage and also Delira. Jose is a freaking wizard. I've got a wizard tuner and I got a wizard body work. Dude, like, look at this, man. He even, like, panel bonded the freaking gas cab it's not even gonna look like anything was ever put on here that's crazy that's insane to me anyways dude this this hood is absolutely insane that's beautiful okay and so you said you're gonna you're going to clear coat this hood yeah. to like just make it not I feel like it lasts a bit okay oh so that doesn't like make it pop or anything like that it kind of just like looks the exact same really okay yeah. but i guess that's something i could like buff and compound it and stuff like that like i wouldn't want to do it as is I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, because usually the epoxy doesn't really hold a UV. Yeah, okay. We usually like the clear stuff. Cool, so he's gonna do a clear coat on this for me to make sure this hood lasts. Oh my God, dude. I'm so excited. Soon. Soon, baby girl. I can't wait to drive you again. Mm. I'll see you later, man. Thanks so much for taking good care of her. You guys make sure you check out the layer designs if you need any, uh, any body work, literally anything Jose's got you taken care of. Guys, I wanna, like in regards to what I said earlier, I want you guys to know I love my collection of cars. And every time I build a car, like I bought this car because it was cool, like every car I own is, is a car that I wanted at some point in time. But I want you to know, just like TV shows and art music artists, like, Things are gonna change over the years. And ultimately, I want you guys to know that my videos will always be the same. My level of entertainment, if I mean, they're just gonna get better and better and better, but my car collection is just gonna get cooler. I've obviously, I've been around for a while, I've sold lots of cars that people loved, and like, it's the only reason people watch my channel, but what I've learned really is like, if you only watch because of one car, that really means you don't watch at all, because like, you know, when's the last time I made a video about this? I haven't. In months. I think the ultimate move for me is, uh, I think it's time, I think I'm gonna maybe just sell the JZX and then sell the Evo and use the space that I will get to finally get something that I have actually been like, ultimately wanting since I was like 12, 10, eight, actually, younger. But anyways, I want you guys to know that nothing, like I will never change. I will only get funnier and more entertaining and my video quality will only get better over the years. And I know a lot of you guys know that, but uh, I just wanted to say that. I know like I, I literally drove the Evo the other day and I was like, this car kind of is boring to me now. Cause this car is amazing. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. But anyways, I want to end on a note today. Somebody, somebody asked me last night, how do you deal with rejection? And they said, can you end a video on talking about dealing with rejection? Don't sweat rejection. Everything happens for a reason. If something isn't meant to be, that's just preparing you for what is meant to be. Sometimes terrible things have to happen for the good things to come in your life. So if, if you're trying to ask somebody out or like even for a job, like if you get rejected for that job or if you get rejected by that girl or it, whatever, how big, no matter how big or small, like if you get rejected, it's not over. Those things in life allow what's really supposed to happen to happen. So don't sweat it. Don't sweat rejection. Um, I love you guys, and I will catch you guys. I got tons of videos to do this week. So much to do. I'm stoked. I'm back. Birthday's over. We're good. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, uh, I got two videos for you. 
I, I what did I just, I don't know what I just said. That was weird. I'm, oh, sorry. Uh, watch those two videos.